retirement, a life-changing event. It's important that you plan it well. Have you thought about it? Any ideas what should be in your planning process? Well, today I will talk to you about five points that should be part of your retirement planning. Welcome, I'm Sabrina from RetireOn. Today, I want to talk to you about the retirement planning. Have you ever given any thought to your retirement? Have you started planning? Well, today I want to talk to you about the five points that should be part of your planning process. Let's get started. First, you should get your general information together. Things as your income and your expenses when you're retired, when do you want to retire and your assets. These are the main questions and they will be asked by any advisor you'll speak to, but you're the only one who has the answers. So why don't you give it some thoughts before you meet somebody? But how to do that? Well, there are some online calculators that you can use. In Australia, I would suggest that you use the one provided by the government organization Money Smart. It's a very good calculator that takes everything into account and that lets you play around with the numbers. You can set your retirement age, your income and expenses and your savings, and it will calculate how much money you will have available and eventually if you may run out of it. In the States, I suggest you use the Smart Ask Calculator. It basically works the same. It takes everything into consideration and lets you play around and it gives you an estimation on how much money you will be accessible to you and how long it will last. Another thing you should do is talk to your insurance companies or banks. In Australia, most people have a superannuation fund. Go talk to yours because I'm pretty sure they can give you some advice about strategy. When do you want to access the money? How much do you take out of it? Or do you just take a monthly payment? It's all possible, but they will have the best answers for your case. The other thing that you should check is government support. When are you eligible? How much can you receive and are there any conditions? And when should you access it? I know, for example, that in the States, it makes sense to wait a bit before you access your social security. If you wait until 70, you will get a much bigger contribution than if you take it from 65, for example. The second point to think through is where and how you want to live. Do you want to keep staying where you are now? Do you want to move closer to family or your kids? Or do you want to go to a special location, for example, the coasts or into the mountains? Or even overseas? It's all possible. And then how do you want to live? If you stay where you are, do you stay in the same house? Do you downgrade? Do you sell everything and move into a caravan? Or do you want to move in a retirement village or a service department? Everything is possible and there's so many options. You should have a look through. They all have their advantages and disadvantages. But one thing you should keep in mind when choosing is accessible to health. Is it accessible to healthcare? How about taxes you will have to pay in the new location? And what's the cost of living where you want to move to if you're moving? It will all have an impact of your overall life satisfaction. And then I think it's a good idea to talk to a professional. They will be able to give you some advice on how to boost your savings. How are healthcare costs going to change? They will be able to give you ideas on how to change your investment strategy to reach your goals. And maybe it's a good idea to refinance your mortgage. Well, there's two ways how you can find advice such as this. You could either attend seminars or webinars online, or you could find an advisor locally. Well, how do you find a good advisor, right? It's a tricky question, but it's an important one because we're planning for a life-changing event. In Australia, I suggest that you go to Money Smart. They have a page on how to choose your advisor. They give you specific guidelines which you can follow. First, you should go to the Financial Planning Association where all advisors are registered. You can look them up by location. 
then you should check for their license. If they don't have a license, they may be doing something illegal. And there is a set of questions that you could ask your advisor. It may help you decide if it's the right one or not. Another thing to do would be go to the advisorratings.com.au website, which is an independent website where people leave reviews and comments about specific advisors. It may give you an idea about the performance of the advisor you've chosen. Another option is that you ask around. I'm pretty sure you're not the only person in your family or friend circle who's thinking about retirement. Maybe some of them already have chosen advisor and can give you some ideas. And then there are some general things to consider. In the States, you will be eligible for Medicare, but is it gonna be enough? Or should you get some supplement plans? Well, you should go to the Medicare website and look at the different options. In Australia, it's very tempting to drop the private healthcare cover because it's such a big expense, but it's not a wise thing to do. You will be waiting very long times if you need to have treatment in the public system. But a good idea is to make sure that you're only covered for what you actually need. There is a website called privatehealth.gov.au. It gives you the possibility to enter all the things you need to have covered and suggest to some providers which cover these things. Another thing you may want to consider is buying a long-term care health cover. Well, that's a relatively new thing and it's for long-term care, as the name says. Have a look. Maybe you find it a wise idea to invest in one. And one very important thing is what are you going to do with all this time that you have now available? It's very important that you have a purposeful activity that will keep you engaged during your retirement. And the last thing you may want to do is learn how to generate new income streams in your retirement. There is three major points to this. First, it will make your retirement planning way more flexible because you don't have to save up this massive amount of money before you retire because you keep having this income. Second, it will be a purposeful activity that will keep you engaged in your retirement. And don't worry, we're not talking a full-time employment situation. More something that you pick up when you're available and when you want to work. And third, it will give you peace of mind because you will not have to count coins for every little thing you want to spend extra. So you can learn how to generate an active income. An example for such an income is when you sign up for an outsourcing website, which requires very little skill. You can offer your time to proofread or to do transcriptions for other people. As I said, such tasks lead little skill, but will still generate money. The other option is to set up a passive income. This may take a little bit more preparation on your side and maybe skills. For example, if you're good at taking photos or videos, you could upload them to Shutterstock and sell them to other people for public use. You will then be paid for each photo or video you sell. So, these were the five points that I think are essential for your retirement planning. Let's have a quick overview again. First, get your general information together. Second, decide where and how you want to live. Third, get some professional advice. Fourth, think about all these other little things that need to be thought through. And fifth, learn about other income streams in your retirement. Well, what do you think about all of this? leave a comment below. Like and subscribe and click on that little bell so you get notified when I post a video. Also, head down to the description and you'll find all these useful links I've mentioned in the video. Also, I wanted to let you know that if you buy something to one of those links, I may get a small commission which will help me making more videos such like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.